In my lifetime, I have created enough content on different topics that have been requested of me to do to make a girl come running. What I'm curious about is what girl is coming running in the middle of the night because I didn't invite you. There's only three women at this time that I've invited to come running to me. And one is the one that's supposed to be my wife, and one is the one who's supposed to be my friend, and the other one is supposed to be a business partner of some sorts to make sure that everything goes well till the end. You see, each and every one of us has a special gift, and each and every one of us is needed in a different way. And each and every one of them is supposed to be a part of my family, not of origin, but of my family of choice today. And my family of choice today remains those women who would make a difference in my life. But if you're stealing from me, if you're lying from, to me, if you're pissing all over me with your stupid little social network to try to be powerful over me, you're a fucking fool. And I sit there and I wonder, what should I say to them? But sometimes I just want to look at them and say, suffering succotash, what the hell is wrong with you? Because you're spending your whole fucking life addicted to me in some crazy-ass immoral way. And what I'm saying to you is stop putting your fucking hands on me as if you're gay. As a man, I have the right to decide who's going to touch me and when and where and why. But as you think you have rights to me, you're proving that you're a slave master only to your own selfish nature. Your selfish nature says, I'm going to take from him, I'm going to use him, I'm going to own him, I'm going to ride him, I'm going to do him, I'm going to ruin him, I'm going to kill him. No, you're not. Because Jesus Christ isn't in you today and neither is Muhammad. But here's the reality, what's making it really sad for you, is that you don't realize how many of your family and friends are saying, suffering succotash. My guess is that they're not saying it six times fast, but I encourage you to try that just for fun. It might make your kids giggle, but it will also tell you that you're a fool in front of God.